So we're going to continue our discussion of curve sketching and concavity, and in this video we're actually going to look at the second derivative test for local extrema. We've already talked about the second derivative test for concavity, but this is going to allow you to use your second derivative to find whether or not a critical point is a maximum or a minimum. So let's take a moment and look at what the second derivative test for local maximum and minimums will tell us. All right, it says that if f double prime is continuous on an open interval and it contains a point x equals c, if f prime is zero and f double prime is less than zero, then you have a local maximum at x equals c. Now you have to remember that x equals c is your critical point. That's really important. It's not just any value of c, but it's a point where the derivative had to equal zero. So then it is a critical point. We also have that if f prime of c is equal to zero and the second derivative is greater than zero, then c is your local minimum. Now, if the first and second derivative are both equal to zero, then we say that the second derivative test would fail. And in that case, the function may have a local max or a local min, or it may have neither, but we can't tell using the second derivative test. So let's take a moment to look at the second derivative test for local extrema graphically so that we can understand why this theorem works. So let's say that we have some function that looks like this. Now, the second derivative test said that what had to happen was the derivative, the first derivative had to equal zero. So we had a critical point. So let's say that that point would be about there. And there's another one, let's say, about there. So the derivative had to equal zero. So there's where f prime would be equal to zero. Then it said if the second derivative was greater than zero, so that means that your graph would be concave up. So if you look here, that's the part where your derivative equals zero and you are concave up. Well, if you look at that, then it makes sense that that point would be your minimum. Okay, so that's why we have a relative or a local minimum at that point because we've got a critical point and our graph was concave up, so that had to be our local minimum. By the other part of the theorem, it said that if you had the second or the derivative equal to zero and you were concave down. then your critical point was your maximum. And if you look at your graph, that makes sense graphically that the derivative is zero. So we've got our critical point. And when the graph is concave down, then that means your critical point would have to be your maximum, your relative maximum. So that is just a real quick graphical interpretation of the second derivative test. Now it's by no means a proof, but at least we can look at it graphically and get an idea of why that second derivative test works for local maximums and minimums.